Hey everyone, and welcome to episode three of Fallout in Minecraft. And here we are. Well, it looks like we're in DC, but we're actually in Diamond City right now. We poked a hole uh, in the office, and that's what's so amazing about this game. It sort of combines all of the uh, Fallout games uh, for the most part. And uh, we have some type of uh, ghoul, I guess you would call it. Uh, it seems to be trapped in the, the walls here somewhere. I don't know. It was bugging me last time. It's just creeping and crawling. Uh, it sounds like maybe there's more than one thing there. Or it's following us or something. I don't know. I poked a few holes through and it just shows like the stairway here. So let's just try a few. See? That's just the stairway uh, where we come up. So you also hear it in the stairway. So it's kind of under us. But I also poked through there before, too. So I don't know. We're going to... It's kind of bugging me. So <laughs> let's do it. I mean, we don't want things creeping and crawling in the walls, do we? All right. Let's just check our inventory real quick. All right, we, have, we have a bunch of swords. I found a few swords. I don't think I've even found iron yet, but I, I found two iron swords. So uh, we're doing pretty well with that. Uh, my other stuff is in a pretty a bad state of repair here. And I, I don't know if we need more cobblestone. It's hard to tell with the... Uh, that looks like the already cooked cobblestone in my inventory. but uh, Like this stuff with the bricks. But I'm, I'm not quite sure, actually. Alright. Well, that guy's not making the noise. He's he's trying to figure it out, too. You see what I mean, though? There's, there's nothing under, because it's just the stairway. And if I poke through here... Then I'm just in the bleachers. So there's... It sounds like it's behind me, actually. But then... I, if it was behind me, I wouldn't have heard it when I was on the other side of the office like this. So that would mean there's more than one. Yeah, I hear, like, two things slurping. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to tear, like, this, all, all these walls apart. Let's see out here. It could be right in here, I guess. This is dirt. I don't know. It's pretty interesting how that that is brown wool. So if we could grow a, a rusty sheep. Uh, that is going to be fun. Uh, that's where you get the these different textures. They just change the the assets that are already in the game. And the thing is, in regular Minecraft, people do use colored wool to build all the time. So uh, it's a, it's a pretty common building material. Even though you think it's better for maybe for a sweater than a house, or uh, in this case, a giant stadium. Uh, but hey. It works. All right, what's through here? Nothing. I'm just trying to see if there's like a hidden area or room or I don't know, something. All right, well, we messed that up a little bit, but. And uh, now the sun is about to set, so it's already nighttime. See, here's the thing. The monsters only come out at night, but they also will spawn, you know, if it's dark, like underground, or maybe in between the walls, they will spawn because they, the light burns them alive and uh you know prevents them from spawning but i don't know all right let's put some torches out here just so nothing spawns right on top of us sometimes things will spawn during the two seconds it takes you to go to sleep and you'll wake up and there's a zombie next to you so all right all right well i don't know this thing's driving me insane where the heck are you up here i guess but when I get closer, it still feels like it's a little further away. That's the problem. It always feels like it's a, the same distance to me. I don't know. You know what? Uh, here's the thing. Sometimes when you go away to a different uh, area, you come back and it's despawned. Because they only spawn when they're near the player. So, I don't know. All right. Well, we need some wood here. We're going to build a... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to connect all the rooftops here. So we're going to go all the way out to like the Washington Monument and uh, other locations in the game uh, and create some sort of rooftop, like basically a way that we can avoid all the critters on the ground. So this is going to be a huge project. Uh, because we're going to make have to make sure everything's fortified and lit and everything. But we're going to go over to, like, the Capitol building there. But we're not going to do it on the ground. We're going to do it on the rooftops. I mean, we will go on the ground, too. 
but I want to have a way, like, let's say we get in trouble when we're over there. Maybe they're super mutants or something. I don't know what they did with all the creatures in this game. Uh, but I know they're there during the regular game. What is this? It looks like sand. I guess not. And what was that? Oh, it's granite. Okay. Weird. Okay. That's cool. It's like a little burnout. I don't know. Everything is like half burnout like it is in Fallout. So it's pretty cool. And then the textures are all slightly different like these trees. Alright, so we just need a bunch of logs here so we can make some planks and uh, connect the rooftop. So like I was saying, basically I want to be able to, let's say things get really hairy downtown. I want to be able to hop up to a roof and book it back to the... Uh, Diamond City right here without without dealing with too much trouble. So, all right, we can we're gonna make a ramp up to that Pridwin up there too. That is the big blimp in the sky, and we're gonna explore inside of all these things too. So, what I'm doing is glancing around. I need to find some other materials. I kind of want to find some sand, and I'm also curious what some of this stuff is because it's all a retextured. This is just gray terracotta. Oh, that's interesting. I love building with normal terracotta. So, well, we can just put that back though. I don't really need that. So yeah, I want some glass, which is sand. You need sand to make glass. And uh, I don't know, I think we need more cobblestone. So I think I made mine into these bricks. Man, where is that thing? It feels like it's right, maybe it's right under me here. I don't know, man. I really don't want to have to tear the whole wall apart. I tr keep trying to peek through, and then I peek right into this area, usually, uh, the stairway. This is a pretty cool stairway. Look at that. It's like chasing me through some... Oh, my God. I hate that thing. <laughs> Maybe a spider in there. Something slurping. Ugh. Yeah, for all I know, they could have put a monster spawner in the walls just to screw with people, you know? Whoever built this. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We need some planks. Oh, we got a ton of wood now. Two different kinds. Alright, so the thing is, planks, first of all, the planks, it's like half of the half of a cube, right? So first of all, this is gonna look better because it's gonna look like we literally put like a board across. Now I'm not gonna make it go diagonal really. I don't know what I'm gonna do once I get over there. But the other thing that's good about these planks is that monsters will not spawn on planks. They, For some reason, it's just part of the mechanics of the game. We won't get any monsters spawning on these. Now they could spawn on these green wool um, squares. So we're gonna have to light that stuff up. But if I use these, you know, in between the buildings, you know, they, they're not going to spawn on the paths. They're, they could spawn on the buildings, though. So it's just a, it's a little safety thing. But mostly, you know, I'm just using it because this is what it, I think it would look like. It's like a plank, you know. So you also use these a lot. People use them on their roofs a lot. And then that, it's the same thing. It looks better on a roof sometimes. And also, uh, the monsters won't spawn. So I think stairs are the same way. So... Of course, stairs are good for a roof, uh, depending on how, what kind of angle you want to have the roof. Uh, now here, we have the flat roofs of like a normal city apartment type of thing. All right, so yeah, this is always a little tricky, getting the, just pressing it right on the edge there, because if you miss it, you end up putting it on top. And of course, you don't want to fall off <laughs> the edge. Uh, we are ducking, so I think that prevents us I mean, it does prevent you from falling off the edge, but it, the planks are a little weird. Uh, when you are crouching, if you, I think it's just when you have two planks, not just one plank like this. But if I made it so it's almost like a stairway of planks, you actually can walk up that uh, while you're crouching. So sometimes I get a little nervous on the planks. All right, and it looks like we're out of planks just when we get over there. Now, the reason I'm not making just one and I'm making three, first of all, this is our base, so I want to make it a little a little uh, more grandiose, but what I think I'm going to do is put some railings on this one just so I can rush back here and not like have to do a balancing act or anything. Uh, so I'm going to put on the two on the sides some railings, and I might make some 
glass panes for that, which will look a lot better than if I use the, the wooden railing. So we'll see how that goes. Not not a huge priority or anything, but uh, I like stuff. Sometimes you just want it to look nice. Sometimes you want it to look like a little realistic. Uh, that, that sort of strikes a balance because no one's really going to put up glass railings up there. That's not really realistic. So that's more in, uh, I think it'll look kind of good if I do that. All right. So we only have two of these left. So let's uh, make a few more. All right. Well, this is going pretty well. I, everything in Minecraft, of course, takes forever to make. So I'm not too worried about that stuff. So I don't think we're going to get too far into the capital area today but we might make a plank here and maybe maybe extend it to that that big brick building over to the right there which is more on our level so this one's down so I'm gonna have to make like a maybe a little stairway down so I can get onto this roof so let's see what we can do here it's kind of tricky here it's kind of tricky. It'd be a lot easier to make it from the ground uh, than from up here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to place a brick underneath <laughs> the one you're standing on. But there we can see we can do it with a plank, but uh, that's not going to help. So we're just going to jump. We only lost a heart and a half there. Not a big deal. And we should have a little breakfast. And uh, all right. Let's just look around a little bit. All right, I'm not sure what building this is, but so yeah, I wonder if uh... wait. All right, let's see. Let's go this way. We'll use that brick that's there. All right, all right, we're doing okay. So then we'll just turn here. And uh, put this underneath. Oh, well, that didn't work. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes you just hit the wrong spot when you're trying to place stuff. It happens all the time. There, it looked like I was actually touching underneath there. So, I don't know. I'm getting a little frustrated. So, I might have to jump to the ground and do that. Let's see. One more try. That should do it. Come on. Yeah, we got it. All right. So, you see there. Now, I can just go out. And I am going to have to jump to the ground to do it. Unless I can do it here. Oh, not a bad idea. All right, well, we're up, and we actually have an extra space here. Maybe we can make it a little longer. All right, this isn't a big deal. This is like just trying to be functional a little bit here. I'm um, not too worried about the look of two different types of wood. doesn't look great, but... I mean, sometimes you do like to mix your materials, and it gives it like more of a worn-down look and stuff like that. Like, as you see on uh, Diamond City, you have the, like the normal green ones and then like the rusted green ones. So that it takes, creates like a really cool texture. And then the more corrugated-looking ones as well. Uh, so you try to do that when you build. Just mix it up a little bit, but it's not exactly. <laughs> I just ran out of the one kind there, and uh, those two don't go well, well together. All right, so we're going to put some torches here. These torches don't even look like they're lit. It's kind of weird. I don't. I like a lot of the textures, but I'm not quite sure about the torches. All right, there we go. That one looks lit. All right, we're just gonna put these down here so that no monsters spawn. I don't think they can even spawn up there. Got a hole here. All right, well we can jump down into the building there if we need to. I uh, don't even have to poke a bolt, poke a hole in the roof. All right, so those, those look like they're mostly planks and glass. I don't think that anything can spawn on those. But at least when we come out here at night, it'll be all lit up for us. So we'll be able to make some night runs once I stop being completely afraid of uh, all my enemies out there. So, all right, and speaking of being afraid, we're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> we don't want to deal with that kind of stuff yet. Uh, we still have stone tools. Oh, we have to have the iron sword, but... We're gonna have to get enchantments. We want diamonds, you know. We're gonna level up before we have to put in too much combat. So get some armor. All right. I just can't. E I I don't even care about doing anything. I just like it's so cool looking around and seeing all these buildings. Look at the capital there with the hole in it. Uh, it's kind of amazing. See, so yeah, we have the subway down there to the left. So I actually went in there. Uh, when I was trying out this game. So that is a lot of fun. Of course, there are mine carts and railroad tracks in Minecraft. So it just uh, it perfectly fits in with having the subway system to take you to the different areas in the game. 
Uh, there's tons of monsters down there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to go down there soon, I'm sure. Now, I'm not really doing too much as far as the story, really, but we'll see. Uh, we did have a little bit of a plot in the last couple episodes where we kind of misplaced a dog meat. So there was a little, little bit of drama there. All right, we're going to get some more cobblestone here to make some stuff. I'm going to make an oven. and We don't have enough cobble. And we have to make a bunch of new tools. So let's just really quickly here. And maybe we'll luck out and find some iron here. So usually, you know, you often have to dig for iron, but sometimes it'll be just sitting out here in the open uh, so you can grab a few of it. So that's always the best way to get it early game. All right, so that is just the regular cobbles. And it looks like it's already been cooked and has the, you know, the brick pattern on it, but it's just the way the texture looks in your inventory, so definitely confused me uh, a little bit there all right let's just go up top there's our red rocket where we started out and hopefully dog meat comes back here all right here's some coal might as well take that we can always use more coal Coal's good for the torches and also uh, you need it for cooking things there's a bunch more coal all right this is a pretty nice mountain here some nice resources I might even dig my mine like right over here. I Maybe mean, even start on the other side. It feels like it kind of ends here. There's the desert. Um, so this would be a good place to build a mine. I, oh, there. So we broke, all right. So let's just go back. We have enough stuff here. We can get the rest of this coal later. And we have enough to make like a backup set of stone tools. Not the best tools in the game, but we're not doing any heavy mining. And once we dig a mine shaft, we'll find iron really quickly and then, um, you know, use that b until we get to the diamonds and stuff like that. So pretty easy progression there. As long as we don't find too many uh, monsters down there. Oh, my God. Did I just burp? That was an interesting sound effect. All right. Look at these windows, but you can't see in them. All right. All right, let's go back up to our office. This path to the office is a pain in the butt though. Uh, that's the other reason I'm making this. You know, I'm gonna make it a lot easier to get up there from the outside. I'll probably put a staircase outside too or something. Or maybe just a way, I, I'll make it a little complicated where you have to go up to one of these buildings and run across, you know. Uh, so, and maybe even close off the entrance here so no one else can sneak up here. So, I don't know. I just figured, why not take this office over as our base for now? Uh, we'll probably build a bunch of bases on the rooftops and other areas and underground, too. But, uh, you know, you need somewhere to just dump, dump all our stuff and everything. So, All right, we're going to make some quick set of tools here and a furnace. All right. I don't know that I have too much to burn. I guess... I could cook some potatoes and stuff. I might have some meat I can cook. I don't have any iron to smelt or... Uh, I forgot. I forgot to do that. All right. All right, there's the furnace. Yeah, I don't have any iron or... Well, no, I, you know what I need to I need to find sand. And once you cook sand, you get glass. And then you can turn the glass into the glass panes. That I was just talking about a little earlier. And then we also might probably want to make a big glass... Um, window in this office you know looking out instead of in now i can't take the glass here because you need uh enchantment on your pickaxe called silk touch and actually there is a guy in diamond city that has a silk touch book that you can buy but you need diamonds to do all that stuff so uh, that's not going to help uh we need diamonds to make actually we might not need diamonds but we do need iron to make the uh the anvil need a bunch of iron and you know we're not going to enchant a stone tool anyway so i think we could actually use the book and the anvil to enchant an iron tool uh you know and the, you know you could do that with silk touch a lot of times you're not using your silk touch that much so you don't need the diamond so i think that's uh, actually doable but to make a regular enchantment table to get your own enchantments, you do need more diamonds and a few other things uh, from down deep. So, all right, we still have half a day. 
All right, so I think what I'm going to do is actually um, let's build over to that brick building over there because that is almost on the same exact level as what we're on. So that's going to be a really nice plank. And if I had planned this better, I probably would have shot it out. Actually, no, no, it's good to have it halfway here because look at how much the way this goes diagonal, it would be a lot further to get it uh, from down there. So I think we're good. Uh, we're just going to get some more slabs and... Uh, so this is already, you know, looking really wonky. <laughs> Didn't do a great job making this aesthetically pleasing. And I, what I wanted to also, I did want to expand the balcony so it's kind of more like a room. But I, you know, I just wanted to got a little anxious. All right, let's so let's just make this like a double, double thing out here. But I think we're just gonna do one for now because I don't have a ton of planks. Just where it overlaps, we'll do two. And then, yeah, we'll just, all right. Well, this is a little slow because you like to stay crouched. And you have to get each one exactly right, but this shouldn't take too long. And I'm not gonna fall if I keep myself crouched and don't make any staircase type of things. All right. Well, it's not too much further. And yeah, see, we're just like maybe uh, two blocks under where the, that roof is. So that's going to be really good. And maybe I'll come in here and off camera and clean up some of this stuff. But I probably won't do that till I'm more flush with resources. Uh, that's part of what happens early game. Your buildings always look a little scuffed because you kind of just build with what you have. And then uh, after a little bit, you'll have just like a surplus of so many different things that you can really step up your building game. So, all right, let's go over here diagonal. Yeah, we already made it. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't even remember what all these buildings are. <laughs> it's been a while. I actually just started Fallout uh, 3 again. But I haven't gone into too many buildings yet. So I don't know what some of this stuff is, so. But it's all the famous buildings from the game and, uh, of course, from the historical D.C. area as well. So we got Boston right up against D.C. because you got Fallout 4 brushing out against Fallout 3. There's a desert here, but I don't think New Vegas is in this one. But they do have even locations from Fallout 1 and 2. So it's pretty cool. I want to find Megaton. I haven't even seen a Megaton yet, so... That is going to be really cool. I think I saw when I was flying around in creative mode, just kind of checking this out uh, when I first bought it. But <clears throat> and we're going to end up taking the subways and seeing where we pop up. So we'll explore a bunch of other areas then. But for now, I'm just going to put some torches down here so we don't have monsters spawning here and crawling into our base or anything like that. So. <clears throat> Here's a nice burnt out building right there that we can jump into. So yeah, you know, of course in Fallout 3, you know, you'll have like all the MIT buildings and things like that and a lot of historical buildings and also in, you know, historic Boston. I that's what I meant. In historic Boston, they have MIT and all them. And then there's also like some technology types of places in Fallout 3. Uh so and all the factories and you know uh, in addition to all the historical buildings so there's a lot of stuff and it seems like they uh, faithfully uh, recreated a lot of them so I think down to like you know oh this room was blocked off and you had to go up this ramp to the second floor I think they also you know did did all mapped all that stuff out so it's it's really cool all right we're actually uh, at the end of another day here. This daylight cycle is so fast in this game. You can really just get one thing done during the day and then you gotta start all over again. So, uh, all right, it's gonna take a little while. Just look around. I finished up like a few seconds too soon. <laughs> the sun will take a little more to set. Usually when it's about halfway. No, not there yet. Oh, I thought I was closer than I am. Although I'm used to seeing this. You can only sleep at night. You can only sleep at night. All right. Oh, yeah. We're not even at, it's all, like, just about halfway now. All right. All right. There we go. That should be good. All right. Well, another day and uh, another 
construction project uh, sort of done. Well, it's functional at least. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. I'm just going to look around and see, maybe plan some stuff out a little. Yeah, we're going to go all the way out there. I think that's the next goal is to get out there and also up here to the Pridwin. I might make a base over there right on the top of the, right where that like light, the light and the scoreboard is there. I think I'm going to extend that up into the Pridwin there. So it's not quite as close, but I think we can make a little platform there and then it won't actually be too many bricks to get to the back there. Of course, to get to the inside uh, might take a little more because uh, not too much is going on with the back of the, uh, the Pridwin. But we're going to make it up there. Maybe next time I'll do that. Uh, that sounds like a fun project. Or who knows, I might just go on the ground and explore a little bit. I don't know. There's so many things to do here in Fallout Minecraft. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we have videos every single day. We got regular Fallout. We got Skyrim. Uh, and I have a few other things up my sleeve as well. So hope to see you then. Thanks for joining. And we will see you next time.